There is a huge problem in tech Twitter, in Udemy courses, in tech gurus, all that jazz. And that is the false promise that you can learn any programming language within a ridiculously short amount of time. Learn JavaScript in 10 days. Learn Python in 10 days. Learn Python 10 minutes a day. Okay, listen, if you didn't know this, let me tell it to you right now. You will not learn the language in those short amount of time. End of story, period. The reason why this bothers me is I can imagine someone who's actually interested in learning that language and seeing all of these courses, all these headlines, all these tweets and thinking to themselves, are all these other people learning the entire language in a week? And I'm on day eight and I'm struggling to even run a script. Is it me? Am I the problem? And that is absolutely terrible. This has to be just demoralizing and defeating, but it shouldn't. I may argue that it's natural and it's supposed to happen and you're actually going the correct path of programming. Let me explain. If you've only been programmed for a few days, few weeks, hell, even a few months, let's say, you should feel like you don't understand the language. That's normal. Think of you trying to learn a complete new language like Mandarin. Do you think you really learn it in a week? I've been using Go and learning Go full time for two years. And what I mean by that is at Twitch at my full time job, I use Go every single day. And when I do side projects over at twitch.tv slash Melky, I'm also writing Go. And I recently, this week, made this tweet. Just recently found out I don't know shit about Go. And it's partly true. There are so many layers of the Go programming language that I have never even touched. And I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy that I can continue my Go learning path. But with that, I would never ever resort to now buying a Go course that promises to teach me Go in 10 days because I know that's full of shit. My desire to learn Go is not fueled by some arbitrary promise that says I will fulfill my knowledge gap in 10 days. But instead, I have a concrete goal of what I want to learn in Go and how I want to keep using it to build new things. The goal is to get there. The goal is to really master and understand Go, how it works from top to bottom. I don't need to do it in X amount of time. I just need to do when I feel I can fully accomplish and say, yeah, now I understand what's happening here. And this type of fuel is what actually motivates you to keep learning, keep spending your evenings after your nine to five to really keep learning go. And when you're having an off day or two or even a week, they're not just gonna quit because your desire to really learn something, your desire to have a goal is going to push you through those moments far beyond finishing a course that promises you something in five days. And the reason why I'm so bearish on some of these beginner courses and Travis C. Media, I'm sorry, and friends, is because you don't get better by consuming resources, especially not for programming. You don't get better by watching some other person code on YouTube and you just looking there, taking notes and nodding your head peacefully. And I firmly believe this because when I post YouTube coding tutorials, I don't attach a GitHub link and I don't even deploy the code to GitHub because I want you to write the code. I don't want you to just get clone and then modify a thing or two. Like write it from scratch. It's not gonna take you a long time. If you really have to pause the video and write it, literally, even if it's the exact same, because at least you're training your brain, you're training your fingers to type and pulling in some information into consciousness of your brain. This is also why I'm a big believer of actually having physical textbooks and not PDFs where you can copy the code and drop it to your IDE. This physical textbook literally forces me to write the code because I can't copy from a piece of paper into my IDE. The only way I can do it is by copying the code down, literally typing it on my keyboard. The majority of these beginner courses are also just really information you can find from the official documentation of the language. I know Go's example is incredibly in-depth. I mean, if you're really just starting, go do, go by example, don't buy a course. The reason why I feel so strongly about this course is because so many people are seeing these flashy titles on Udemy, buying them, you know, spending their hard-earned money, and then getting discouraged when the course is supposed to say in seven days you master JavaScript, but they're on day four and they're really, really struggling. And they know that in three days they can't turn around or they haven't been able to land the 300K job in three months of job hunting. They blame it on themselves because they can't really see that the course is flawed because how can it be? It must be a great course, right? So many people bought it. There is no shortcuts. There is no promise at the end of this course or at the end of watching this video. There is no light at the end of the tunnel. 
The only thing there is, is the path you choose to create every single day by carving the path for you. And the way I recommend doing that is if you really need a course, make it about something very specific. Make it about something that is so niche that there is no false pretense or false promise at the end of it. If you really are trying to learn a language, understand that it's going to take you time. Understand that, yeah, maybe in a month or in 90 days or hell, even 60 days, you may be using the programming language, but there is no way you are good at it. Guaranteed stamp of approval. That's a milky guarantee right there. You need to put time in the saddle. I use Go every single day and knowing the fact I still have so much to learn, I am re-motivated to learn Go. I'm doing more projects in Go. I'm re-reading Go textbooks because I slipped. I felt out of that proficiency and I need to get better with it. And I'm motivated. And my goal isn't to do this by 10 days or 15 days or 30 days or whatever. My goal is to do it and be really, really good at it and practice it. And that is the way I guarantee my own path. So with that, I got to leave you guys with two things and two things only. One, what is your favorite way of learning? Do you like Udemy courses, YouTube tutorials, textbooks, medium articles? What is it? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you can, almost at 10K subscribers, the road to 10K is getting closer and closer. So if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. And number two, you got to power it.